I want you all to love the life that you've been given no matter what it is that you're facing. A lot of the chaos in my life was caused by my expectations, my plans, my beliefs about how things should be. If we're listening to the Holy Spirit, we're being reminded of the truth. And it's very hard to accept that truth if we're still listening to the lies. God's not surprised by what's happening to you. God's not confused. God's not afraid. God's not discouraged. He's not caught off guard. So when we're feeling out of control, it's not because He's not there. It's because we're trusting in our own strengths or in somebody else's rather than in God's. Our marriages are not meant to fulfill us. They're meant to be expression of God's love. There are three of us in a marriage. My husband, me, and God. Ask God to help you parent the children He's given you in the season that you're in as a mama. It's not too late. It's never too early. He has a plan. And all that's happened before is not lost. Our homes are meant to be places of safety, security, and acceptance. They are not meant to be prize-winning showcases of how much money and design savvy we have thanks to Pinterest. If this is your identity, what happens when that job goes away, or you choose to stay home, or you retire? No matter what work you do, whether it's walking outside the door to go to the park with your kids, or going off to your high-powered career job, it's all the same. Are you going to reflect my truth in the world? This is how we cultivate peace in our work. When I have a visual representation of where my time is being spent, then I understand why things are so crazy then I can look at it and say, where do things need to change? Why do you want to calm the chaos of your life? If you don't know why, the chaos will still consume you because you won't stick with the changes that might need to be made. Choose to trust God. Choose to follow Jesus. Choose to listen to the voices of the Holy Spirit each and every day and let those three choices guide you through the chaos that's going to come and you will experience God's peace no matter what.